Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today's episode, let's take a look at some of the coolest things in Pages 09. So Pages is one of the most interesting and deep programs created by Apple, but a lot of the advanced features get overlooked as people just use it for basic word processing or to open up Microsoft Word files. Let's go and take a look at a couple of cool things you can do with Pages. So here we are inside of Pages and one of the cool things you can do in Pages is go to full screen mode. Full screen mode has got a button up here in the upper left hand corner. You can also do Option Command U to go directly into it and get out of it. When you go into full screen mode it looks like this. Basically blacks out the rest of your desktop and has a simple scroll bar on the right and you can concentrate on what you're doing. And for those of us that write we know how important it is to have a mode like this. To be able to go and zoom in on just what you're doing and put all your mail and your browser window and everything else all behind you and out of sight. Another thing that Pages does is it's really good for taking notes. You can go into the template chooser, choose an outline, and then you can choose one of the many outlines here. One of the cool things is that you can collapse outline headings. So for instance, double click on the little square over to the left there and it collapses everything under it. So it makes it really easy to go ahead and keep notes and create outlines of projects that you're working on without having long documents to look through. Another thing you can do inside of Pages is you can add tables inside of them like this. Just click on the Table button at the top and now you get a table here. You can go ahead and adjust the size of this table. And it's not just a table where you can just enter data in. You can also perform calculations. It's basically a mini spreadsheet, a, uh, a numbers spreadsheet if you will, right here. So if I just start typing equals immediately it puts a familiar spreadsheet interface around it and I can go ahead and click in these windows to create a little formula and it will form the calculation. And of course it will update as I change the data in it. And you can go ahead and just have these tables just inside of your document. So it's a really handy thing to do if you create lots of things that have calculations inside the document. So one thing I often get asked is what's the equivalent to Microsoft Publisher on Mac? Well the answer is Pages. Pages isn't just a word processing tool. It's also a page layout tool. There's all sorts of different templates here for doing things like newsletters, brochures, flyers, posters, cards, all sorts of stuff like that. And these are just basically templates that you could choose. You can also make up your own. You can see that there's different items in here like images and text boxes and things like that. And you can use all these different tools to create basically any kind of desktop publishing job that you want. It's not really something you use for heavy duty but for creating some of these simple projects that a lot of us need Pages is the right tool for it. So one question I get asked a lot is how do I send a page document to somebody else if I don't know if they have Pages. And chances are they probably don't. No Windows users would have Pages and they're still the majority and a lot of Mac users haven't bought iWorks so they don't have Pages either. Well in the Share menu you can actually go ahead and send via email as a Pages document, a Word document, or better yet as a PDF which is much more universal and should be able to be read by anybody. If you're not using mail but you want to send it some other way or put it on a flash disk or something like that you can also go to File, Export and you can choose PDF, Word, RTF which is rich text format which is another universal type. It doesn't work great for lots of uh, complex layouts but it could be useful and also plain text. You choose one of these. You can go to the next button which you can choose things like the file name or where to save it and you've got a copy of your document that you can send to just about anybody. Another cool thing you can do with Pages is you can create PDFs that have some security in them. So you can go ahead and export your document. You can say PDF, set the image quality, and also it sets security options. So you can require a password to open the document, print the document, or copy content from the document and you can set what those passwords are. So that's a quick look at some of the coolest features of Pages 09. Hope you find it useful. Till next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. <music>